now we're coming up now to the third and final heat of the second round of this men's 200 meters there's the line for you Perola of Finland drawn on the inside Fedora of Russia in two head note of Sweden in three a dollar Godin of the Ukraine in four Trubal of France in five dollar of Switzerland in six lack of Germany in seven and Pedersen of Denmark in lane eight on the outside well a very impressive uh, qualification for this round by this fella the Ukrainian Ventislav Dologodin, 20.80, the Ukrainian champion. He's the fellow who actually beat John Rezus earlier on this season when uh, John was having to find his form. And John, of course, has come on a great deal since then. Uh, that's uh, Andrei Fedorev, the Russian, a teacher, third in the European Championships, incidentally, back in 1986. And uh, Russian champion this season, 20.56 is best. When you have... Uh, Jean-Charles Trubal, the Frenchman, the French champion over 100 and 200 meters for the last uh, three seasons. He's drawn in lane five, 20.93 in qualification. He got a silver medal last time in split four years ago. Hedner, the Swede. Second in the Swedish Championships this season, 20.92 his best. So Perola, Fedorev, Hedner, Dologodin, Trubal, Dola, the big Swiss, drawn in six, Lack of Germany in seven, Pedersen of Denmark in lane eight. First four through, plus four fastest losers over the three heats to the semi final. Swiss on the outside, already chasing lack of Germany, and here comes uh, Trubel on the inside, and also uh, Dollar Godin. Trubel and Dollar Godin, these two, with Fedorif on the inside. And still Dollar the Swiss in there, uh, Trubel and Dollar Godin. Dollar Godin, Dollar, Trubel, and Fedorif, the four, 20.76, the time, and uh, minus 1.2 meters per second, the wind speed. We give you these wind speeds just to allow you to make the comparisons. Uh, for form for the next round because there's a big difference some are reading plus some are minus the plus is a backwind and the minus a headwind and of course for record purposes two meters per second is the allowable limit any performance achieved in these championships will remain a championship record but it can't be a European record or a world record or beyond that certainly dollar the Swiss, who ran 21 seconds in his heat, got into this one, tall figure, third from the left, all in red. Went past Lack, the German, a dollar Godin, and Hednar, at this stage, going quite well. Trubal, the French champion, looks to be in uh, control. Fedorev, the Russian, worked very hard in the latter stages. But dollar Godin, a dollar, Trubal, and Fedorev, as I gave it, in that order, the four qualifiers for the semi-final. I guess if uh, anyone is to challenge uh, Gia Mern, it could be Dollar Godin. His time here, 20.76. Dollar, 20.80. Trubal, 20.87. And Fedorov, 20.96. Right on the warm-up track. The athletes getting ready for the final of the 400-metre hurdles, which takes place at 6.15. Pretty time. That's Peter Crampton. He's done marvellous championships already. Oh, look at Gary Cadogan. Gary Cadogan, drawn in lane one. And I think actually he's winding up his coat. Uh, it's just a joke, that is. <laughs> there have been so many injuries for British athletes in international championships over the season that uh, I wouldn't say it's the worst. But uh, Graham Knight, the coach there, <laughs> was across faster than Cadogan could cover the first two or three meters so the final at 6 15 british time 